What is up, everybody? My name is Justin. This is Forever Self Employed. In today's video, I'm joined with Aaron. We're going to be walking through some of the jobs that he's completed over the past week, and he's going to give us a rundown of those jobs. Before we get into that, though, I wanted to mention me and Aaron have been building out a course over the past few months. It is a pressure washing business course. This course is going to have everything that you need to know from marketing, equipment, chemicals, everything that you need to know, and more. If you want to enter in to win, one of the courses in the giveaway. All you have to do is click the first link in the comment section and the description, enter your email and make sure you verify it and you'll be entered to win. Um, so like I said, I have Aaron here with me. Aaron, you wanna go ahead and run us through some of these jobs, man? Yeah, man, so this first one right here is a townhouse and it had a ton of cobwebs. It probably hadn't been cleaned in, I don't know, at least a year. And uh, we got it pretty clean, dude. I had to double treat it. And as you see, I'm kind of moseying around here because this guy kept putting she had boxes on the front steps when I got there, and the guy came and delivered more boxes. Um, the second house right here is a vinyl home. We're going to move real quick. I think I made like 350 on this little house here. I mean, it's probably total a thousand square feet. Um, I hit it with uh, my 20 to 1 on the vinyl, and then I was going to hit it with a little X-Jet, a little more Kim's. Uh, on the bottom just to get some of that algae off of the block uh, just to agitate and right now I'm working around to the front um, it was you know it had some pretty decent algae buildup you can't really tell by the video um, but it was it was pretty substantial we're lucky that it was vinyl so it was pretty easy to remove I'm working my way around the back I like to take up a lot of ground whenever I whenever I treat, especially in these shadowy areas because the, the chem won't dry as fast on it. Um, so here I'm on the deck. The deck was pretty nasty. I treated it, uh, my downstream, and then cleaned it up with my valve here underneath, knocking it out and double treating. All right, on to a Victorian hall. This is 1800s, man, like, straight up 1800 style house and if you can see that tie back up on the top right this thing was literally just missed by the nashville tornado that came through if you saw the the uh, area across the street it took out an old church i mean the thing is in rubble this thing barely got missed but this guy calls me every year 200 bucks knock out his little porch it's just his porch that's all he wants and he loves it all right Onward right here to one of my favorite things to do, concrete cleaning. This is another yearly customer for us. Um, maybe every six months. We used to do their windows. I now uh, give that out to a buddy of mine, cleans their windows. And uh, just some concrete cleaning. It, it's never really that dirty. This is a high-end area of town, so they really don't let anything get too crazy. Um, treat it with my downstream go back over it and you know when it's not that dirty you don't i don't have to completely post treat too bad because i'm pretty treating with my uh with my downstream and uh they never let it get terrible as you can see it's almost kind of clean when i got there i'm just going over it and um you know just kind of touching it up do you Although, give any uh, type of price reduction um since it's not as dirty or are you pretty much yeah. charging the same per square foot i charge the same thing um, it depends on if I can if I if I can get it or not. Different areas of town, I can get it. You want to talk about your new rig at all, Aaron? Uh, which one? My my flatbed. Yeah. Yeah. So you're seeing Mad Max there in the back. That's the new rig. That that all that stuff that's on that truck right there. It's a it's a 3598 Chevrolet, uh, 6.5 diesel. All that stuff that was on there was on my pressure washing trailer before, but now I can pull up. I'm super compact and I can I can go into a lot of different areas with that rig, man. What do we have here? A little uh, two-story? Uh, one, I'm doing the only the front of the home. That's all they wanted done. And the driveway. That's it. And uh, I think it was like, I don't know, like 450 for all this. So just the front of the house and this little two-car driveway. So not too bad. Just, you know, pre-treated. Everything's pretty standard. The house wasn't that dirty. They had a lot of oxidization on those gutters, and um, I didn't do any gutter brightening. They didn't want it, so I'm not. I'm not gonna fret about that and worry about it. It looks like somebody got a pressure washer out there and uh, signed their name in the concrete, huh? Aaron? Yeah, they try. Well, you know, and you can see this terrible drainage. It's going to show up right here. Now, I'm not liable for that drainage. 
they need to have their own drainage situation covered. Okay. I, I'm not a concrete guy. I'm not an excavation company. I'm not the builder. So I'm running into a problem here. And uh, I made them very aware. It's supposed to go through that fence, apparently, into the neighbor's yard, which it seems like how it wanted to drain. And uh, But it wouldn't. So <clears throat> either way, you're going to so see some uh, streaks show up here in a little bit. So here on the back end, I turned my heat up to about 200. And you're going to see it start steaming right about now. So you see it start to steam. That's when I started steaming because I don't have my soft. I don't have my lava box mounted on my truck just yet. So I don't, I don't have a soft washer on the truck. It wasn't with me. It was back at the house. So what did I have to do? I had to retreat again and then go back over it with some hot water to uh, kind of mitigate some of those streaks because this driveway hadn't been cleaned in, I don't know, at least maybe a year and a half, two years. So it was pretty bad. Well, Aaron, we're coming to the end here. Uh, we need a word of the day. So can you give us a word of the day for anybody who made it this far in the video? Word of the day, man. The word of the day is Ricky Tommy. Word of the day is Ricky Tommy. If you made it this far in the video, comment down below, Ricky Tommy, and I will hashtag you a real one. Aaron, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, if you guys would like to enter the course, it's going to be the first link in the comment section and the description. My name is Justin. This is Forever Self-Employed. And until next time, hustle hard and get that money, baby. Yeah, you. Yeah. <laughs>